Hey y'all, it's Barry, and today I'm going to show you how to design a file for embroidery using Affinity Designer. The embroidery is going to be done by Printful, and the thing to keep in mind with embroidery is that for the design to read well, you're going to need solid colors and clear shapes. So let's jump right into Affinity Designer and get started. So I'm in Affinity Designer right now, and I'm going to make a new file. We're going to make this 5 inches wide and 1.75 inches tall, because that is the embroidery area of Printful's beanies. And what I like to do is I like to make this an artboard. I also, what you want to do is go into the color tab of document setup and make sure this is a transparent background. That way you don't have a white background on the entirety of your beanie design. So the kind of beanie that I want to make today is I want to make a little demon horn beanie, but with a strawberry twist. So it's going to be strawberry demon horns. And I'm a little bit of a heathen. I uh, prefer to use the pencil tool, but if you prefer to use the pen tool, then that is your prerogative. But I'm just going to draw a little demon horn shape like that. And I'm not going to draw the other one because what we're going to do is we're going to make this one in its entirety and then we're going to flip it. And I actually think I want to change the bottom of this to be just a little bit more round. You can tweak this to the exact shape that you want it to be. That's the nice thing about working in vectors and that's why I'm using Affinity Designer instead of something like Affinity Photo or Clip Studio Paint. So I think that's good. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to use the Sculpt feature and what that will do is if you start on any part of the line it will continue that line. So I'm going to continue this line and round the horn off like that. So now this is one closed shape and I can actually completely join the curves here. And then we can completely fill this in and we have a little horn. Now I don't want to just stop here because this is a strawberry demon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some white strawberry seeds. So I'm going to make three seeds. And the last thing that I want to do for the strawberry horn is to make a leaf motif that goes around it. So for that, I'm actually going to start with an ellipse. And that's why we left room around the bottom. I actually might need to make a little bit more room on the sides. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take this ellipse and we're going to press Control J to duplicate and then rotate it around. See, I need a little bit more room on the bottom, but that's okay. I can move things when this is finished. I'm going to grab everything and move it up a little bit so I have more room on the bottom. And then position these so that they're a little rounder. And if there's gaps in here, that's okay, we can fill that in later. I think that's good, and I actually don't have to do any more work to fill it in. This is looking a little bit flat, though, so I'm just going to do a quick shadow. And the important thing about this is that it's embroidery, so I can't do a gradient. Although I've posted a short about Printful's full color embroidery, which does allow for gradients. So if that's something that you're interested in, go check that out. But I'm going to pick a purple color and just add this in, not as a full shadow around the whole object, but just to add a little bit of shading around the bottom. And I find that this adds just a little bit of extra dimension. I'm going to group these. I'm going to group this. And then I'm going to press Control J and duplicate it, and then flip horizontal and bring it over to the other side. All right, let's group this again so that we can make sure this is centered horizontally because we want it to be perfectly center on the beanie. 
So there's one version done with just the plain horns, but I want to make this a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to duplicate the whole artboard and then I'm going to make an eye in the center, a little demon eye in the center of the beanie. So for this I am going to use the pen tool because it's going to be quite a bit easier to make this shape if it only has two anchor points. And then I can duplicate this flip it vertically, and then line that up. So I actually want this to be a little bit more round, so what I'm going to do is just pull these anchor points out a little bit more. So back to the ellipse tool, I'm just going to make a ellipse. I'm going to get rid of the green on the inside because we don't want that. I want a white, white of the eyeball, so I'm going to be a heathen again and literally just do that. And as for the ellipse, since it's going above the top of the eyelid, I'm going to convert to curves and then here and here I'm going to break the curve and we can just delete this top part right there. So we have an eye. For the eyelashes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw progressively longer lash lines until I get to near the middle. Then I'm going to group these together, uh, duplicate this first, flip horizontal, and then move this over oop, a little too far. Move this over just like that. Um, I want the inside of this to be pink. No, that's not the inside. So the inside of the iris is pink. And for the pupil, what I'm actually going to do is I have this strawberry asset. It's just uh, actually my logo. So I'm going to take my strawberry logo, just because it's the easiest strawberry asset that I have, and I'm going to make it not quite this big, maybe around this big for a strawberry pupil, just to add something different, just so it's not a round pupil. And then for the highlight of the eye, I'm going to take one more ellipse, fill it in totally white. So just like that, we have a strawberry eye. And then we group the whole eye together. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, actually. And then like the other, like the horns, we want it to be fully centered. So now we have two completely different versions, one with an eye and one without an eye, of an cute embroidered strawberry demon themed beanie. So once you have your design done, all you need to do is in Printful go to the product template page and add a product. So I'm going to look for beanies. And I like this one because of all of the fun colors that it comes in. I'm obsessed with this lime green color. Don't ask me why. I'm having a green moment right now. So I'm going to add all of these colors because I don't really like the muted tones, but I do really love the acid green and the light blue. And then in design, I'm going to upload the file, which you can see I have already done. But if you haven't already uploaded the file, all you have to do is hit upload new file and then find where you saved your file in your folders. So I'm going to hit apply. And you're going to see that the colors are a little bit off. All I have to do is change this color to purple. I don't know why it changed purple to gray, but I just change it to purple. And then I prefer the, what is this, kiwi green? rather than the darky, gr darky green? Yeah, rather than the darker green, uh, I prefer the lighter green color. And you can see these mock-ups here now, and then you just save it. And then from here, you can add to store, you can make any changes if you need to, you can also download mock-ups. So it's going to download the mock-ups for each of the colors that you selected. I prefer to download the PNG mock-ups because then I can make my own 
promotional images with colorful backgrounds, but if these are going directly to your store and you don't want to have to resave these out as smaller JPEGs, this would the JPEG option would be the option to do if you're uploading these mockups directly to your store. So once all of these are downloaded, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them into this promotional template that I have. And I can just make some quick promotional imagery of all of the beanies. And there we go! And in the end, it looks a little something like this. So that's how you can make your own embroidered products using Affinity Design and Printful. So this beanie, as well as a couple of other designs, are currently now in my shop if you want to go grab one for yourself. The link to that will be in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. And until next time, take care and stay weird!